Charlotte and Sydney, you can feel the the tense between uh, these two. They look at each other. Charlotte is completely annoyed at him. I think she's more annoyed at him than she is at her right now. Um, it's funny that they were seated together um, in this scene, and of course it was on purpose. Um, from the writers of this show, uh, but we we'll talked about that in a minute or two. Uh, but this party, um, we learn a lot um, about certain characters, and I think it would be fun to talk about. What a very great pleasure it is to be seated next to you, Miss Lamb. Is it? Why? If you watch the episode, Lady Dana want to pair. Edward with Miss Lamb um, in a way that she's trying to have a, an arranged marriage between Miss Lamb and Edward. So that was the true intention behind this party. And Mary Parker knew there was something up um, for this party. And she knows that Lady Denham is up to no good um, with why she is joining this party. Um, the true reason of why she is joining this party. Well, um, you know, your, um, your beauty, your fascinating background. And my money. I imagine that's what you're after. Uh, Edward trying to get Miss Lamb attention, um, her affection, uh, trying to get her to fall for him. No. No, 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 no. Well, well tell me, um, how do you like Sanderton? God's sake. Is that the best you can do? Miss Lamb doesn't play around at all, and you will get to see that um, in the remainder of this scene. The big reason everyone at Sanderson is in interested to gossip about Miss Lamb is because of her money and um, how she became wealthy and um, all the wealth and the assets that she had um, that were passed on from her father. Uh, so she's not stupid. She's like, you don't want me. You don't love me. You're not gonna love me honestly. You're gonna use me uh, to get my money. And she sees that right to Edward. She's like, I'm not wasting my time with you. Like, I know what you're trying to do to me. Like, no. <laughs> and you see that <laughs> disappointed look on Lady Dana right there at the end. Um, it, like, she wants her plan to go well. Um, to the party, but you know, Edward can be stupid and doesn't really play along really well. Um, he fails. Like, if you ask him to role play, uh, especially in trying to get a woman to fall for you, like with Miss Lamb, your plan's gonna fail too. <laughs> so, Miss Haywood, any observations on the assembled company? As you have no interest in my opinion, I shan't trouble you with it, Miss Parker. I'm sure you have one. First little detail I noticed um, was Cindy like um, grabbing uh, some soup into Charlotte bowl. Am I seeing that right? I thought if that was the case, that was nice of him. Just saying. <laughs> Sydney, it's really funny though. Like I feel like he had mood swings sometimes, especially like in the beginning of season one. So I think the way that. Their last conversation ended, um, Charlotte is more mad than he is, uh, to her. So Charlotte is just, like, peak annoyed at him right now, right, at the table. And he's, like, taking advantage of sitting next to her, asking her for her, another opinion, her perspective. And Charlotte just, like, yeah, we're not gonna go there again. Come. Share it with me the world. I've endured two tongue lashings from you and I won't court a third. Save your unpleasantness for someone else. Or better still, why not try to be civil? Hmm. Well said. Perhaps I might. But not with me. Pray. I really truly like and I truly enjoy what she said to Sydney um, in this scene. Uh, she really blew him off 
out of the water. Um, I think she did great. Uh, she made some good points in what she said, and she just like, I'm not falling for your trap again. Mr. Crow, how do you rate Sanderton's chances? And that look of Sydney, um, his face, he was impressed. He was, I feel like he started to like, be um, a little bit more interested in her, like intrigued by her. Um, I think that was like the moment where she's like, okay, this girl have something. And he trying to like figure it out, if that makes sense. Uh, but third, I, I do want to say, um, kudos to Charlotte. Um, I really love her, her banter, like her, her fight back to him uh, after all that she said to her and how she treated her ever since they met. Um, good for her, like Team Charlie. Miss Lamb, what are your views on matrimony? An heiress with a hundred thousand must be in want of a husband, I think. I don't care to be any man's property, Lady Denham. Oh, hoity toity. <laughs> I should have thought someone like you would be quite used to being a man's property. Um, marriage. What a topic to talk about, right? I mean, you barely know these people. And Miss Lamb herself, she's just like, Oh, hey, right off the bat, so this is why we're having lunch together, huh? And I'm sitting next to Edward. Um, but Miss Lamb, uh, like I said uh, a minute or two ago, we get to learn a, a lot more um, about certain characters in this scene. And for instance, Miss Lamb, she doesn't believe in marriage. And I think she doesn't believe in the aspect of arranged marriage or a forced marriage. Um, I think she went through a lot um, as a kid growing up. Um, her mom was a color woman and her dad um, was a wealthy man and um you know they went together and <laughs> miss lamb was born and uh it was tough in being in, in her shoes growing up as a child and you have these people looking at you right like oh you're a color woman but your dad is white and that brings a lot of judgment and gossip around town wherever she went and now she landed in Sanditon and Miss Lamb asking about marriage, and I think the heartbreak and the tough childhood that she went through brought her to that decision in her mind, like, I really don't want to marry a guy. Like, I don't want to marry a guy that is forced or someone that don't love me or use me as the money. I think she doesn't want to go through that heartbreak of a relationship or she doesn't want to be used by a man um, just because of her wealth and um, just because her dad was um, white. Uh, so it's just like she doesn't want, she'd rather be single um, and alone for the rest of her life instead of like going through the drama and the heartbreak of a broken marriage. I think she doesn't want to go to what her mom went through. I think that plays a huge decision on her perspective on marriage. But it has changed, right? Um, and I think we will get to see that um, more in season two, I would say. But I think uh, it's important to keep what she said um, in this scene in the back of your mind. And I think it would be a nice comparison of her perspective in the scene to what she will experience um, throughout the show. Was not your mother a slave? She was. But being used to a thing and liking it are not the same, my lady. Lady Denham did not have to um, bring that topic up. Um, she really like giving these burning fire question of uh, darting at Miss Lamb. Um, and I think it's inappropriate of the question that she asked Miss Lamb. Um, I think she should have said it in private or not said it at all. Um, but Lady Denham is a very outspoken woman and she had the power and the wealth in this town and she 
take advantage of it and just, you know, freely speak her mind. And sometimes it's a good thing what she said, sometimes it's very offensive. And you can see the look of Charlotte and Sydney, they're like, you really have to ask Miss Lamb about her mom. And the way that Lady Denham, you know, bluntly said what her mom was, like, you know, a slave, uh, that made it really <laughs> bad, uh, even worse in uh, at the table. So, yeah, this is not good. I'm beginning to think you are a very opinionated young lady, Miss Lamb. <laughs> Funny when Lady Dunham uh, complimented Miss Lamb as a very opinionated woman. I'm like, oh, you too, Lady Dunham. Like, <laughs> we need to talk about you. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's just it was it's just a tough situation for Miss Lamb, and this is really an inappropriate time and place to talk about these things. The way of embarrassing her, basically, and she just moved in, you know, to the town. Um, it really sucks. Uh, and also I want to say one more thing. Um, Miss Lamb answer uh, to her question. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, she, not stupid, like, she knows what she needed to say. And in a way, it's kind of like she joined the arrow back to Lady Denim. Like, okay, you asked me that question. I'm going to answer your question like this. And Charlotte was very impressed and proud of her. It was kind of like a woman supporting woman in this scene um, between Charlotte and Miss Lamb. Uh, so it's like girl power. Um, but yeah, I really like how... Miss Lamb attack her back. That takes a lot of courage and strength and confidence for Miss Lamb to go through this event, um, answering this stupid question from Lady Dana, but I think she did it really, really well. What do you think, Miss Hayward? Charlotte is in the hot seat now, um, but funny though, uh, Charlotte and Sydney like look at each other and Sydney like, here we go, we get to hear Charlotte make these assumptions um, <laughs> about people and things, uh, and Charlotte, of course, she doesn't really want to answer, and I think if Sydney wasn't there, I think she would have been a little bit more comfortable, but she's like, great, everyone is looking at me and I have to answer the question. I know young ladies are not expected to have opinions, Lady Denham. But I think that Miss Lamb is quite right to value her independence, just as you do yours. Don't you agree, Mr. Parker? Charles said it carefully uh, the time around, especially with Sydney next to her. And um, she's like, in my opinion, like, don't like, you know, hate me for what I'm about to say. And it's really cool that she put the spotlight on Sydney, and now she had to answer. Um, I really like that game plan that Charlotte came up with. Miss Lamb is aware of my position on the matter. No. No answer from Mr. Sydney. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, Sydney didn't give an answer. Um, but you can see that little smirk that he had when Charlotte, like, oh, what do you think, um, uh, Mr. Parker, um, uh, you know, trying to put him on the spot, um, he, he knew what she was doing, but she was clever, he's like, Miss Lamb already know where I stand, and I think it's also a way for him to not embarrass Miss Lamb further, um, uh, I think it's just a way to respect her, like, you know, like, let's cut this conversation off, like, Stop talking about Miss Leah. And you, Miss, are you still keeping up the pretense that you are not in Sanderton in search of a wealthy man to marry and to keep you? <laughs> Indeed, I am not, Mom. Now, Charlotte is the subject of the conversation. Um, poor Charlotte. Lady Dan keep believing that Charlotte is, is in Sanderton to find a man. Um, you know, and it's kind of like, uh, an opportunity for Lady Denim to spread a wildfire, a spread a gossip right across the table, and everyone like, 
Oh, is this why Charlotte magically appeared? Uh, she wanted to find her husband. Uh, so now Charlotte is in the high seat and she's like, No, I'm not here to find love. But you can see Sydney kind of like perk up. He's like, Okay, let's hear what Charlotte had to say about love and romance and dating. Hmm. I have no thoughts of marriage at all. And if I were to choose a husband, wealth would not come into it. <laughs> oh, big, oh. Should not a good marriage be based on mutual love and affection? Without equality of affection, marriage can become a kind of slavery. Lady Denham, she really doesn't respect um, other people's opinion and perspective on things in life. But do you see that look that Esther gave to Edward? Hmm. We will talk a little bit more about that uh, down the road. Uh, but Charlotte doesn't believe in um, money as a primary factor in the relationship. She believes in more of the, the compassion and... Um, the respect and love, um, wealth doesn't really matter to her when uh, it comes to finding love. Uh, so she really have a different take uh, on what a marriage should be uh, compared to someone like Lady Denham when it's all about money, money, and power. And I think with a lot of money comes with a lot of power, right? And sometimes people abuse that. Um, so Charlotte totally have a different outlook when it comes to love and marriage and I think it's a great opportunity for Sydney to learn about her um, on those topics and you would get to see why um, down the road but uh, it's just a good thing to know I mean if you intrigue uh, interested in someone right like you might want to find out a little bit more about what their believe in marriage and in dating and finance and all that. So this is kind of like a one-on-one -on -one lesson for Sydney at the same time. While we hear Charlotte talk about her life perspective. Oh, and one more thing, um, the look on Miss Lamb's face, um, she was very satisfied with Charlotte's answer. And I think that's kind of um, brought Charlotte and Miss Lamb to a higher possibility of becoming a uh, friends. Uh, it's like Miss Nam found someone that she can trust and um, confide in and that could be Charlotte and uh, we'll see if that happens um, later this episode or the next one. Uh, so it's just like, okay, all these people are crap, but Sydney, my guardian, like, I can't really hate him, but Charlotte might be a good friend to have while living in Sanditon. Um, so it's really nice to see that common interest, belief, perspective between Charlotte and Miss Lamb, and I think that will be important um, in the episode to come uh, in season one. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we learn a lot, right, um, at this lunch table. What do you say to Sir Edward? Would you and he not make a pretty match? Really are. Well, you seem incapable of furthering your own interests. How about it, Miss Lamb? We ain't suited, Lady Denham. <laughs> Good for you. That is the last scene we would talk about in this video. Um, I really like how Miss Lamb uh, answered that question and um, she is not interested at all in Edward, and that's a good thing. Like, you don't want to lead him on, you know? You don't want to waste time with him either. So she's like, he is high, <laughs> high from the list of potential bachelor. And uh, you would know for sure that this will irritate Lady Denham, and she'd be like, oh, my plan did not work. Um, but what an embarrassing moment for Miss Lamb. Like, me watching this episode back, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, this is, like, really, really bad. And, um, they really torture her, um, to the question that Lady Denham, um, asked her in front of everyone. Um, like I said, it's the wrong time and place to do this, uh, to ask Miss Lamb about her life. Like, let like you talk about other things, um, uh, that are not judgmental, you know what I mean? Um, so it's really, really 
really like hurtful uh, by Miss Nan and Mrs. Strong Woman, but we will see if she be able to hold it in, you know? I think that takes a lot to hold it in and not let your anger come out or your frustration. Um, you know, it's a tough setting to to not like, unleash your anger in front of everyone because if you do that, then it will make yourself like even worse. So you try to make yourself look strong and um, to let them know that it doesn't bother you, you know. Um, we'll see what happened with Miss Lamb after this um, lunch party. But again, um, it's just a really tough situation for her to be in. And um, I think Charlotte was the only one that had compassion really for her. Um, we didn't really see the other end of the table, but I'm pretty sure Mary Parker had compassion for Miss Lamb too. Um, but yeah, again, it's just the wrong time and place to torture her like that. Um, I, like, she should have asked Miss Lamb, Lady Denham, she should have asked her, um, in the private, um, room, or just don't even mention it at all. And I think that what happened in the scene, I think it brought a really bad first impression of Lady Denham, uh, for Miss Lamb. Like, if I was Miss Lamb, I'd be like, I don't like you. Like, you know, like, you put Lady Denham on the naughty list. Um, so yeah, it's a really interesting, but you can see all the wrong things that happened at this lunch party. Sydney and Charlotte, um, they had those proud faces at the end too. I almost forgot to mention that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I'm sorry if I talk too fast. Um, trying to get this uh, ready uh, so it'll be uploaded on time. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Any comment, comment down below. Um, it's a bit of a slow start um, doing this um, Sandy Trail. Uh, hopefully more Sanditon fans come along um, before season two. I feel like season two, more Sanditon fans will come along. But yeah, I feel like season two is more popular than season one. Uh, but I'm not gonna say it anyway. Um, so yeah, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you are. Um, again, any comment, um, analysis, um, share them with me. And my Colorado video will be up really soon at the end of August. I can't wait to share my um, travel adventure video from that trip. Um, again, Colorado, like, it's really beautiful. Like, highly recommend. I already miss it. I'm a city girl at heart, but Colorado was so special to me. Um, can't wait to share that with you. Um, see you very soon. Bye.